this section, we'll be speaking about our essential organic product. Everything your plant needs. Humic, kelp, vitamin B6, aminos, two forms of sugars. The other thing that's wonderful about this product is the way the amino chains work, is it helps uptake the sulfur content in your plant, which helps enhance the terpenes and taste of your plant. The first item we're adding into the Pro Mix is the Essentials Organic, and that is at two mils per gallon. So we've got 100 mils here in this container. Again, all the things that are in this product are your humic acids, your kelp, your wetting agent, which is a yucca. Um, uh, it also has your vitamin B6, and then it's got an amino chain. Um, and as you can see, it easily just mixes throughout, um, no issues. The next item in is gonna be our complete micro package. You can see it's kind of a green consistency here. The thing that's wonderful about this product is it's you know nitrogen, it's got a urea, which is giving us our normal base of urea here for this mix. Uh, and then magnesium, sulfur, boron, copper, iron, manganese, and zinc. Um, so it's giving you all your base micro package that you're gonna need for your plants. Our next mix coming in is gonna be our calcium magnesium. Um, this also has 7% nitrate nitrogen in it. And then the ratio of your calcium magnesium is a two to one. So you've got 4% calcium and 2% magnesium. The importance for this is, is that calcium helps all along in the strengthening and density of your plant. And then the magnesium uh, is something that we're discovering more and more that the plant needs more throughout um, the lateral part of it, less nitrogen, more magnesium. And so that's a super important part of that. Uh, the way that this calcium magnesium is derived, uh, it makes it readily available for, for people that are, that are using um, double-ended lights that are having problems with perspiration issues where more of the magnesium or the calcium is burning off and you need that really solid punch of CalMag, you're gonna get it with this product. Before adding your silicate and TKO into the product, it's always smart to kind of check your pH levels. Uh, here we're sitting at a 5.2, slightly acidic. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue when introducing the uh, um, silica in here because silica is a natural uh, pH of, of between eight and nine. So that should raise it up naturally for you in that occurrence. Our silica product, which is rated at eight mils per gallon. And gradually add this in slowly. Again, because of the high pH of this product, And silicate all around is just get, is a phenomenal product for your plant. Uh, it's just started to be used more readily um, with different growers. And we find that it just helps with the overall strength and then helps, helps the plant with disease. It also helps with the stock sizing, increases your stock. And it also, uh, some of us have discussed that it also helps in the, in the end curing process. And that's our silicate product. Next is our TKO product. This is our phosphide or our PK booster. It's fed at four mils to the gallon. Now, if you're feeding to um, deep current or more of a, a hydro system without soil, like cocoa, you're fine on this mix. But I found that because of this phosphite being so readily available in the root zone, that it's good to tone it down. So with this product, I always recommend to start at a lower dosing, maybe at one mil, maybe even a half a mil, working into your plants and see how your plants react to it. Uh, this product is also phen phenomenal for a foliar spray if you're trying to increase uh, your girth and your weight size at the end of your product. Again, you can tell this is crystal clear. And that's our TKO, our PK booster. So now, checking the pH of this solution, um, we're at 6.2. And for a lot of us, that's perfect. Uh, there's, you know, the, the influx of everybody's kind of got their favorite pH area where they want to range in between 5.8 to 6.5. Uh, 
Um, with this mix going into uh, cocoa, I like to bring it down to a 5.8 or a 6, typically 5.8, and then let it uh, naturally rise back up to a 6. So I'm gonna be using some of our pH reducer, our 100% uh, citric acid to help reduce this down. And I'll enter this in typically at five to 10 mils and then check throughout that um, for the rise or decrease. I've noticed with our Pro Mix that uh, after you run it, typically you will um, see your pH lower. And with that, we have our pH booster to add in to increase your levels back to between 5.8 and 6.5.